Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager, Sunshine Educational Resources, also known as Sunshine Academy. We are running a free online lessons for students in the senior secondary schools. These lessons are ideal for those candidates preparing for SSC, GC, JAM, NAPTEP, and all other forms of public examinations. We run subjects like mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, geography, economics, and many more. So are you preparing for any of these exams I've mentioned above? These lessons are good for you. Invite your friends, classmates, junior ones, senior ones, neighbors to come along with you and learn on this channel. In the last mathematics lesson, we went through the theory of logarithm. We went through about four um, theory of logarithm and we run through also several examples. Now, for the benefit of those that are just starting mathematics or, or that are just coming new into mathematics, I felt there's a need for me to go in depth into the theory of logarithm. What do we mean by logarithm? And that is what I'm going to explain to you today. And I will go into solving some problems for you. And I'll also give you an assignment to do it yourself so that in the next lesson, I'm going to provide you with the an answer and then you compare your answers. All right, let's move on. Let's first and foremost try to understand what does this concept logarithm really stands for. Let me start this way. Now, let's have number one. You will agree with me that if I said 100 is the same as 10 raised to the power 2. Okay? Let me pick another one. Number two examples. 1000 is the same as 10 raised to the power 3. Okay? Number, number three. 10,000, for example, is the same as writing 10 raised to the power 4. Okay. Now, we can use logarithm to express these numbers or this equation. What if we want to express these equations in logarithm terms? This is how you do it. Let me take it up. All right. What we're going to do now is that we're going to use logarithm to express this number these equations that we have on the board right now. Now, let's take for equation 1. We will now say the log of 10 of 100 is equal to 2. And that is what we have up there. Log base 10 of 100 is equal to 2. Now, let's pick the second one now. It can be expressed as log base 10 of 1000 is equal to 3. Now let's pick the third one now. The third one can be expressed as log base 10 of 10,000 is equal to 4. Okay. Now let's move on. Right now, what we are going to do now is to come up with an expression, logarithm expression, that we are going to use to solve problems. Now, let's say, from what we have done above, the log a of n is equal to x. From what we've been doing above, we are now going to use letters to denote the numbers. Log a of n is equal to x. Now, from what we've done so far, it means that n is equal to a raised to the power x. n is equal to a raised to the power x. Now let me use numbers to illustrate now so that you will understand better. Let me use number to express now. Now supposing we have log of 10 of 100 is equal to 2. Okay. Now, what is n here now? The n is 100, right? Following this expression that we have here, n is equal to a raised to the power x. Following this expression that we have here, the n that we have here now is 100, right? Is equal to, you raise this 10 to this 2, and that is what we have done here. You raise this 10 to this 2, right? 
that means 10 raised to the power 2. So we have coined out an expression from here. We have coined out an expression using this logarithm. Now let's use these to solve some problems now. Take for example, let me take it up. All right, we are going to use it to solve some examples now based on the ones we've done previously and the one we've done today. Let's move on. Example one. All right, example one says that simplify the following without using tables. So example one says that log a divided by log sod a log a divided by log sod a now this is the same as writing let's move on now log a divided by log a raised to the power 1 over 2 a raised to the power 1 over 2 I believe you have not forgotten one of the laws of indices that says that a raised to the power 1 over n is equal to sod or root a of n okay that's what we use here so now this is the same as writing log a over using the theorem of logarithm is going to be 1 over 2 log a so let's move up Okay, let me come down here. So you now have log of a all over 1 over 2 log a. This log a here cancels this log a. So finally you have 1 over 1 over 2. This is same as writing 1 over 1 divided by 1 over 2. This can also be written as 1 over 1 multiplied by 2 over 1, which is same as 2. So the answer is equal to 2. All right, let's go to example 2. Still simplify without using tables. We are still on simplify without using tables. Example 2 says that log, log 2 plus log 50 log 2 plus log 50 this is the same as writing log 2 multiplied by 50 okay and this is the same as writing log 100 okay that's the same as writing log 100 we are dealing with log base 10 here log base 10 here so log base 10 of 100 is equal to 2 that is 100 is same as 10 raised to the power 2 400 is same as 10 raised to the power 2 i hope you understand 100 is same as 10 raised to the power 2 okay let's move to this is example 2 let's move to example 3 now example 3 still simplify without using table 2 log 5 plus log 36 minus log 9. 2 log 5 plus log 36 minus log 9. Let's move on. Now this is the same as writing log 5 raised to the power 2 times 36 divided by 9. So this is same as writing log 5 squared times 36 divided by 9. This is equal to log 5 squared is 25 times 36 divided by 9. So if you multiply 25 by 36 divided by 9, you have all of it becomes log 100. 
log 100 and that is log base 10 of 100 which is equal to 2. So let's go to the fourth example. Example 4 now. Log 9, log base 9 of 1 over 27. Log base 9 of 1 over 27. Okay? Now this is same as writing log base 9 of 1 over 27 is equal to x. You now have 1 over 27 is equal to 9 raised to the power x. Okay? Now, remember, 1 over 27 is the same as writing 27 raised to the power minus 1 is equal to 9 raised to the power x. Okay, let's move on. So right now, let's bring this base here. Let's make this base here to be equal to the number here. And this is the only way we can do it. Now, 27 is the same as writing 3 raised to the power 3. And then we'll bring all these raised to the power minus 1 and is equal to 9, the same as writing 3 raised to the power 2, all these bracket open and close raised to the power x. Now this is same as writing 3 raised to the power 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 is equal to 2 times x is equal to 3 raised to the power 2x. So from these, this 3, we cancel this 3. So let's proceed this way. Minus 3 is equal to 2x. Let me go up here. So minus 3 is equal to 2x. x here. So divide both sides by 2. Divide here by 2, divide here by 2. These 2, we cancel these 2. So minus 3 over 2 is equal to x. x, therefore, is equal to minus 3 over 2. That is our final answer. Now, you will notice that the last example we solved was not in base 10. So logarithm can also be expressed in other bases. For example, Let's see, example, you have log 2, 8, which is equal to 3. Log 2, 8 is equal to 3. That means that 8 is the same as 2 raised to the power 3. That is 2 times 2 times 2. Now, another example here is that you could have log 3, base 3, to the number 27, which is also equal to 3. It means that 27 is equal to 3 raised to the power 3. Now solve the following assignment. I'm going to give you an assignment, so make sure you solve them. In the next lesson, I will provide you with the answers, and then you can compare your answers. So these are assignment. Make sure you use this assignment to practice. Number one, log four, 3.2 plus log 4.20, log base four, 3.2 plus log base four, 20. Number two, log base 2 32 minus log base 2 4 number 3 log 
64 all over log 4. So these are the assignments. You're going to solve them one by one and provide the answer. In the next class, I'm going to reveal the answers to you and then you can compare your answers and step. So thank you very much for watching and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.